Okay, got another quick one for you. You may have seen it before, but hey, I'm doing it this time, so it's extra special, isn't it? Right, so what we've got here is, we have got some bags. Yes, lovely fun bags. No pun included. So with these bags, what I'm gonna do is, do something really just obvious and simple. I'm just gonna take this and stick it through. Isn't that amazing? What, what, you want me to do it through the water as well? Okay, okay, all right, all right, let's do it, let's do it. What, you're not impressed? Okay, okay. So let's do it again. Now the thing is, you'd expect the water to come out, wouldn't you? But it hasn't. Now the question is, why is that? Has it got something to do with the bag? Well, we can see that it makes no difference whether there's water or air, because it goes through just the same. So why isn't the water pushing out? Well, it's got to do with what the bag is made of. The bag is made of something we call polymers. Now, a polymer is basically a, ch a chain of monomers, and a monomer is just a single unit of something. So a polymer, poly meaning many, would mean that it's many units of something and they're in a chain. And these, it's these chains that make up this bag that actually, like this kind of thing, all linked together in many different chains like that. It's these chains that actually stop the water coming out. So instead of when you put the pencil in, it's splitting, what actually happens is, as you put the pencil through, it goes through and cookie dee side there to pull back together. And that is grasping the pencil like this, which actually stops the water from coming out. So that is the polymer action that allows me to stick a pencil through a bag and no water to come out. So the same thing that the bag's made out of, polymers, is actually what's in this rubber balloon. Rubber is a polymer. Now, on this balloon, you've got the dark parts here and here, and that's the parts that isn't stretched as much. So what I can actually do is take a really sharp object, if I'm lucky, stick it through there. Look at that. Now it's inside. Then it hasn't popped. You normally think balloons would pop when you put something sharp into it. If I can find that other end here. Yeah, there you go. And as you can see, that's one sharp flag through a balloon. And it's down to it being made of polymers. And now, let's just try it again. What, if I fill it with water, will it work? Well, let's give it a go. Give me a sec. We just get the water. So we're gonna try it with water now. So what do you predict will happen? Well, let's give it a go. So it went through the, balloon, the bag nice and easy. So let's try this. Oh, it's in! Right. So there's the other end. Let's see if I can get this correct. Right, you ready? Can I do it with a balloon filled in water? And the answer is no. Do try this at home, kids, especially next to your big brother. It will be so cool. That's me out. Nice one.